Pirates are down to their final at bat. A remarkable run with two national championships trying to become a three-time winner. That hasn't happened for a single class in over 20 years. They need at least one to tie it or UCLA wins the natty. Allo, Green, and Knight in the heart of the order to face the National Player of the Year, Rachel Garcia. Oh, and two. Jocelyn, after a hot bat, throughout the postseason has cooled here in the champ series 0 for 6. Allo a bullet out to Bubba, one down. Freshman Grace Green. That's such a good pitch to be able to find that one spot inside. You got to understand these Oklahoma hitters have been sitting in prepared to hit in, but Garcia able to find the spot that still makes them jump. Says, get off my plate. Allows them to back off just a bit to set up what she's going to throw next. Challenges her again. More rise on the first pitch, more screwball on that last one. Two from Garcia. Kept it away. Grace Green, high fly ball. Gooden back on the track and makes the catch. Two down. Wow. And it will come down to Garcia and Knighton. Grace Green, actually, she gets all of this. She hits it so hard and good and up against the wall, makes a perfect grab. Remember, it was her misplay in left field earlier this game that allowed an Oklahoma run to score. She makes up for it with that catch. The most outstanding player two years ago against the most likely to win it this year as it stands. One and oh. Garcia with that rise ball. Oof. This is the time to use it. You're down to your last out for Oklahoma. It's so hard to not want the pitch up in the zone. The one that if you do connect with it, will leave the yard. Two and one.
you freaking kidding me? Shay Knighton. Shay Knighton. Every time in Oklahoma City, this is why she plays. She's had two surgeries on her knees, insists that she be on the field because she knows she's the one that can get her team back in this game to tie it up. She's had some big ones, but her senior year in that moment. And a rise ball that just was not up enough on a 2-1 count. Wow. Tenth home run of the year. She's None had, bigger. She's had five here at the World Series. Five. 1-0 to Nicole Mendez. Been coming here 26 years. I, I don't know if there's been a greater to grace this field. In the last four years, Shea, big play Shea for a reason. And now the Bruins have to regroup. Try and take care of Mendez and see if they can get a walk off for the second time in three nights. After a semifinal extra inning walk off win against Washington on Sunday. Garcia. And a moment they'll be talking about for a long, long time down to their final out and Knighton strikes. It's destiny, Shea Knighton. Oklahoma down to their last two strikes. She says, I need just one. And sends it out of the yard. Approval from her teammates. We're knotted back up at four apiece. Big play, Shea, for a reason. Five, count them, five career World Series home runs, but this one, her team was about to go home. Season end, her career ends. She said, I will not go out unless I go on my own terms. Lord <laughs> Chamberlain, the home run queen. Is she pumped just a little bit? She's calling her a legend. Yeah. Lauren hit a walk off in a champ series game back in 2013 for the Sooners, the all time home run leader. And how about hitting it off of Garcia, her travel ball yes. teammate. High school from Angels Tyson. So now can UCLA walk it off in the bottom of the seventh? Taylor Pack, there's your game winner. There's your championship winner on first base. And here comes Brianna Tatalafua. Back in the fifth, she did this. Her second home run of the series. I would throw every single pitch off speed. Every single one. Brianna Tatulafua, there's a lot of great hitters in this lineup. No one is seeing Juarez better than Bri Tatulafua. Not just a home run, but she's had a double and single to add to that. Out to Lafua laying down the sacrifice. And the championship winning run in scoring position with one out. That's a tough call. Yeah, three for three, and they choose That's the bunt. That's a tough call. I love the sacrifice. I love getting a runner in scoring position. Right now, Kelly out with Kirk Walker. They're going back and forth discussing some stuff. I don't know if that might have been a missed call or not, but I was surprised because now you're setting up for seven, eight, and nine hitters with really the best hitter in this lineup against Juarez to lay down that sacrifice. I don't know. We'll see, though. 
You've got Sullivan due up. And then after that, Kinsley Washington, who has five hits in the two series games. But a big gamble right there to yeah. sacrifice with Brianna. Yes. If, o if a UCLA walks off, they have a 12th title. If Oklahoma holds here and wins in extras, we'll be back tomorrow. Game three if necessary, 8.30 Eastern on ESPN. Colleen Sullivan, the rookie from Poway, California. A walk, a strikeout, and a ground out. Taylor Pack out at second base after the leadoff single. And all after Shea Knighton tied it with a solo home run with two outs in the top of the seventh. Sullivan to Lyons, she'll go to third. The tag applied by Romero, and they cut down Pack. Two outs as Pack runs on a roller to the left side. And this is right in front of Lyons. Take a look. She's running right in front. She's right here. That is an easy out. I love the fact that she's like, uh-uh, you're not getting that bag. Well, and the freshmen, I mean, there's still a lot of things that can go wrong. You can still hit the runner. You can throw this ball away. Lyons sees her, makes a perfect throw, and gets the out. Sullivan will be able to get over to second. A wild pitch. Charge to Juarez. So now Sullivan is the championship winner. This ball just short hops Elam. And so runner back in scoring position. But the problem is that wild pitch would have then moved a runner to third had Pack not been thrown out trying to advance. Jackie Prober. <laughs> will now come on to run at second to try and win it all for UCLA. A little flare, and that will get down in front of a view. Prober to the plate to throw, and she's safe. And UCLA makes it an even dozen. And they are back on top with a 12th national championship. Kinsley Washington. The championship winning RBI single. And a walk off to win the title. <laughs> Trophy number 12 and the emotion from Kinsley Washington. And the end of the line for that extraordinary Oklahoma senior class. And a 5-4 walk-off win for UCLA. And the emotions for Rachel Garcia as she becomes the fourth National Player of the Year to win a trophy and for 
Kelly Enoy Perez, her second as a head coach. After she picked up three playing for the Bruins. And the drought is over for the Pac-12, their first title since 2011. When it comes down to number one and number two, you knew it was going to have an ending like this, literally down to inches, inches. Look at this slide coming around. Elam at home, a perfect slide to be able to get in there, only playing with one out. And to end it like this for the Bruins to win it in walk-off fashion. <laughs> and the dog pile. The dog pile <laughs> on Washington. <laughs> the most decorated program in softball adds another one. 118 titles now for Bruins Athletics. And they counter the Shea Knighton home run to tie it in the top of the seventh. And they walk off to win it.